so good to have each of you here this morning, and uh, good, to, good to have the Martin family with us, amen, yes. it's so good to have the man clan, brother yes. uh, David, and, and I said his wife, yeah, Victoria,
this one thing that I found that he said that God be for me who can be against me. Yeah. Right. It doesn't matter what they do to this body and what they do to my life. Yes. I'd just like for my life to shine for the Lord and help somebody yes. make it. Yes. The Lord's on our side. We have this thing one. There will be battles. There will be troubles. But we've got victory. In the Amen. And I'm thankful for that. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. <coughs> Brother Smith, you got a testimony this morning? We always have a testimony. Yeah. Still on the throne, and he's still alive, and he's still touching hearts and lives. Yeah. And uh, you know, God's still sending revival in the midst of the Praise the Lord. Excited about what the Lord's doing, and great to, to see the the, uh, the sanctuary this morning looks great in here. Looks bigger and wider, and the carpet and everything is looking good. Praise the Lord. Appreciate that. All the hard work and labor, and we've come just expecting and believing God. So let's just get on in this morning and start this morning. How I many know? I, I know we may have been through some stuff. How I many know He's still God? Yes. And he's Come to help us this morning and revive us. He's still saving, still delivering, still Amen. filling with the Holy Ghost, yes, still sending old fashioned Holy Ghost oh, revival. And, and so let's believe Him to do that this morning and stir our hearts and touch our lives. Hallelujah. Oh, He's good. Let's get on in this morning. Let the Lord have His way. Hallelujah. God is so good. Amen. Right. Praise the Lord. Good to be back in Arlington. We've been excited about this week, excited about what God's going to do. Praise the Lord. Always enjoy coming into His house and feeling His presence. Nothing like it with trade for anything in this world. Praise the Lord. We're going to do some brand new songs for y'all this morning off our new record. My sister wrote, didn't write the record, she wrote the songs on the record. <laughs> Let's clarify that. But this one says, I'm still standing when the storm is coming gone. You know, sometimes in life, some storms come and, and hit you sometimes out of nowhere. But I'm thankful if we hold on to God's hand. He's going to be uh, helping us through those storms. And on the on the other side, we can say, look, I'm still standing because of you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I found out that things work a lot better when you get them plugged in. So we try to make sure they're always plugged in. <laughs>
thankful for his strength in the times when I'm my weakest. Amen. Always, oh, he's just a prayer away. You can just call out to him. And I'm thankful for that, you know. <laughs> I know it's going to be good service when you play your, your instrument out of tune, the first song. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I heard someone say, you know, when we use Pentecostals, we play Pentecostal instruments, you know, because they're always falling out of tune. And, you know, if they was Baptists, they'd be once in tune, always in tune. And these aren't like that, so they're Pentecostal instruments. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But God is so good. We have another song that says, talks about the, the time when you got saved. I want you to tell us a little story here. I want you to let it take you back to the time when you accepted Christ into your heart. And uh, I'm thankful. I remember I was uh, five years old. We were in Dumas, Arkansas, preaching revival. And even though I grew up in church, I still needed a Savior. You know, just because you've been raised in it doesn't mean that you're automatically in. You've got to come to that spot in your in your life. You say, you know what, God, I need a Savior. I need you to come save my soul. I love the line in this song. It says, your slate is clean by greater love than you can ever dream of. I'm thankful for the cleansing power of the blood. Amen. Start over. Amen. Hallelujah. 
appreciate the Lord's goodness to us this morning. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter number 27 this morning. Matthew chapter 27. Just in case you didn't know, um, that song that my daughter wrote that we just sang, that was my testimony. I was that young boy that walked into that church, gave his heart and life to Jesus. That old country preacher preached the gospel. I got born again. God Thank called me to preach. This, a little over a year ago, my pastor went home to be with the Lord. Uh, I'm preaching the gospel. Yes, amen. 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 So, How's it going on? I, I just have a time when we sing that. It takes me back to that Sunday morning. Amen. I walked down those old fashioned altar. Gave my heart and life to Jesus Christ. Wouldn't trade it for the world. Amen. Praise God. Had an experience with the Master. Changed my life. Turned me around. Cleaned my slate. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Looking this morning back to chapter number 27. Hold on. I'm going to grab one of these balls. Jesus. Look at chapter number 27. We'll begin reading verse number 1. Matthew chapter number 27. We'll begin reading in verse number 1 this morning. Matthew 27, verse number 1, and it reads as follows. When the morning was come, all the chief priests and elders and the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. And when they had bound him, they led him away and delivered him to Pontius Pilate, the governor. Then Judas, which had betrayed him, when he saw that he was condemned, repented himself and brought again the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders, saying, I have sinned in that I have betrayed the innocent blood. And they said, what is that to us? Right. What is that to us? Right. Yes, See thou to that. Verse 4, Judas came saying, I have sinned in, the, in that I have betrayed the innocent blood. And they said, what is that to us? Yes, sir. The Lord help me this morning. I want to preach it for a little while, Miss Father. What is that to us? What is that to us? Father, we love you this morning. We thank you for loving us. goodness. This opportunity to give us to come together together the house of God. Father, one more time to be in harvest time here in Arlington. God, we're grateful for the opportunity to give us to come in your presence. We stand in our need. Holy Ghost, anointing. Ask the Lord to set our souls ablaze in a flame for to preach thy word. No word alone, but it is to hear. Heart to receive. Give every heart, every life, every soul. Will we gather around these altars? God, we give you the praise and glory and the power and the honor. Jesus, one of the glorious holy just come mighty name. And everybody said, Amen. 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 And you can be seated. I want to preach for a little while this morning. Simply this thought of what's that to us? Now, looking at the story here, we, we know the story of when Christ was delivered. Uh, to them for the uh, the mock trial that he was given. But it's interesting as we look at the beginning of this story, the Bible said that the people took counsel against Jesus. Uh, and as I read that, I thought, you know, that's, that's much like the society we're living in today, against right. Jesus. They, they're against the things of God, against uh, uh, salvation, against the touch of heaven, against God moving in our hearts and in our lives. How the all of hell is against Jesus, right. and against yes, Jesus moving in your life, and Jesus reviving. The Bible said they, they took counsel that they, they were against Jesus. Yeah. And the Bible said to, to put him to death, and they had bound him. And and, uh, and when they had bound him, and they began to start this trial, the Bible said here in the reading of our text that Judas, realizing that he was condemned, realizing what lied ahead, that he, he brought the 30 pieces of silver that was given to him to betray the Christ, the, the, the price of the common slave of that day. He brought back the 30 pieces pieces of silver. And he said, I, I have I've sinned. I have betrayed the innocent blood. I have sinned and I have betrayed the, the innocent blood. And, and uh, I thought of that and I thought, oh, uh, and have you understand that when you and I sin, uh, we are betraying yes, the innocent sir. blood. Yeah, right. We are betraying the blood that bought us. The, the Lamb of God that was slain on Calvary's rugged cross. When we sin, we betray that innocent yes, blood. The Bible said, he said, I have sinned and in that I have betrayed the innocent blood as he realized what was going on and realizing what he had done. But I want you to understand what they replied to him as he came back and he gave them the 30 pieces of silver. I've been wrong. I've sinned and betrayed in his blood. They said, what's that to us? We don't care about that. What's that to us? We don't care that it's in his blood. It doesn't mean anything to us. We don't have any problem with that. What's that to us? Yeah, come, come on. on. Yeah. What's that to us? Look out. I forgot to tell you. Happy Fourth of July. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought about this this morning, 38 years ago today. 
38 years ago today, I was in Paris, France. I had gone on a uh, tour through AIFS, American Institute for Foreign Study. And I was in high school, it was the summer between my sophomore and junior year in high school. And uh, we had gone to Europe. We had toured, it was a two-week tour. We toured about seven countries, I believe, just not the whole thing, but just different places. And, and we had come back to France, and it was our last, last stop there in France, in Paris, before we were going to go back to Brussels and then fly home. Uh, actually, I was going to fly to Spain and be with some friends. But anyway, um, uh, and so we were there in Paris, and it was the 4th of July. It was interesting, I, as we pulling in, we had a, we had a, uh, a tour guide. She was phenomenal. She spoke eight or nine different languages. I mean, you know, and just uh, rattled them off. And, and she goes, she said, now, she said, this is what she said. Now, um, when we were in France, she said, don't even try to speak the language. We're like, but he said, this is what she said. She said, they're just kind of cranky. He said, because you're not going to say it right. You're not going to pronounce it right. You're going to make a match. So don't even try to say it. Right. I'm thinking, man, you know. Uh, and, uh, well, whatever, you know. And so we did. So we're, you know, we're there. We're on 4th of July. And, and we're thinking, you know, we're, you know, we're Americans. And, uh, and they're not real happy with us or whatever. Uh, but it's the 4th of July. And so, uh, you know, of course, uh, I'm wearing my USA T-shirt. We've got my flag on, you know. And we're walking through the streets of, of Paris. And we had done a day tour. And after the day tour, we had come back to the bus. And as we got on the bus, somebody on our group had gone out and uh, had bought a, uh, it, they were individual slices of apple pie. And had placed those individual slices of apple pie on everybody's seat. So when you get back on the bus, here's this slice of apple pie on everybody's seat. It's the fourth. July. So we got this slice of apple pie, and in each apple pie there was one of those little flags, little American flag, you know, on the on the toothpick like deal. And, and oh man, we got on that, we saw that man, we all picked him up, man, we're waving our American flag. You know, man. <laughs> oh, we're on that bus. I mean, here, there's a bunch of high school students, and yeah. we've never been out of the country. Now we've been away from you know, most of us have probably never even been out of the county that we're raised in, and, and uh, now we're you know across world and it's the 4th of July. We've been gone for two weeks. We're missing home, home and mom and daddy. Missing America. It's the 4th yeah. of July. We get back on our bus. We got our apple pie. We get our flags. We start waving it. Man, we got the singing songs. You know, God bless America. And, and the old, you know, the, the, the Star Spangled Banner. And we're, man, we're just having us a time, you know, thinking about that. And, I, and I, as I thought about that, I thought the reason is, is, is that, that flag meant something to us. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Come on. That flag meant something to us. And, and uh, I, it's, it's Looking back, my, my father fought in Vietnam. That flag means something to me. My grandfather fought in World War II. That flag meant something to me. Uh, lives were lost on Suraboxi's yeah. Mound to raise that flag and stand and say they're, they're free. It meant something to us. Yeah. It meant something to me. And there was a concern. There was a care. There was a meaning behind that. It, yeah. it meant something. I will be honest with you. I know we got we're in a bad way. Our country is a mess, but I can still say I still salute the flag. I stand. Hallelujah. I pledge allegiance. I don't like to see it hit the ground. I don't like to see it torn up. Uh, why? It means something to me. It stands for freedom. It stands for uh, the, the, the the values that our forefathers had established on this country. It means something to me. But we've got another group of folks today. We simply call them the flag burners. Right. I'll just tell you, I'll be honest with you, I can care less about flag burners. Uh, I, they don't like it, they can just go into their other country, amen? Because that flag means something to me. Yes. It means something to me. But their but their folly is, it doesn't mean anything to me. I don't care about it. It yeah. means nothing to me. And they're basically, when they look at you and I, as we pledge allegiance to the flag, and we salute the flag, and we're grateful for the flag, and they say, what's that to us? Yeah, All come right. on. Yes, sir. What's that to us? Yes, sir. It don't mean anything to them. They don't care about it. They loathe what the flag is, and they loathe what it stands for. Yeah. That's just reality. That's not being political. I'm not politicizing anything. It's just reality. In order to burn that flag, you must loathe it and what it stands for. What's that to us? Right. Yes, sir. We find a very similar thing here today in our the reading of our text. Is Judas comes back and he he uh, brings the money back, and they simply said, "What's that to us?" Right. We don't care about that. Well, it doesn't mean anything to us. It's not precious to us. Uh, what's that to us? And we find that that's the attitude of the world today towards the church. is simply that. What's that to us? We've seen that more this last year. What's that to us? We close the doors. We don't care about that. What's that 
like us. Well, we want Walmart Home Depot open, but we don't care about the church. What's that to us? Don't tell me you need to go to church. What's that to us? Well, if you do go, don't sing. What's that to us? Right. Well, come yes, on. Sir. You say that here. Right. 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 You yeah. go, you yeah. should sing. Right. Yeah, right. But anyway, yeah. uh, you know, what's that to us? They, they don't care about that. Don't sing. You don't need to praise God. What's that to us? You don't need to live right. What's that to us? Yeah. What do you mean innocent blood? What's that to us? That's what you, the, the folks said. The, the Pharisees, the Jews right. brought that money back. It was the same mentality we see today. The same uh, 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 look towards the things of God. What's that to us? That our society has towards the things of God today. What's that to us? Innocent blood. What's that to us? Who cares about all that stuff? What's that to us? As I read that, I thought, you know, uh, I thought, oh, Judas, uh, Judas, if you only would have, if you only would have preached a message yes, to him. sir. Right. Oh, oh, Judas, I thought, you know what? If you, Judas, if you only would have said, well, I'll tell you what, boys. Uh, I'll tell you what, boys. Uh, it may not mean anything to you, but let me tell you what it means to me. Amen. Yes. Oh, it may not mean anything to you, boys, but let me tell you yes, what sir. it means to me. I guess I can right. title this Judas' Sermon. Amen. Yes, oh, what Judas should have preached. Oh, I know it doesn't mean anything to you. I know you say, what's that to us? But, but let me tell you what it means to me. I know this world says, what's that to us? Oh, the church and all of that and then, and then salvation and the blood. What's that to us? Oh, yeah, come on. Like tell them. I'll tell you what that is to us. Judas could have said, well, I'll tell you, boys, I was lost. I had no hope. I was Bound for hell. You know what that is to me? It's redemption. Oh, yes, sir. Right. Come on. Blood. Right? That is the blood. It's the price of our redemption. That's the right. blood that was shed on Calvary's rugged cross right. was the blood shed to redeem my lost yes, soul. Sir. I was lost without hope. On my way to hell. I'll yes. tell you what it means to me. I've been redeemed. Yes. Right. Yeah. I've been redeemed by the blood I've been Lord. redeemed. I've been redeemed. Yes. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. I thought the word says in Hebrews. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Little ball means you get a sermon at. <laughs> we got me with some. Anyway. <laughs> uh, Hebrews tells us this. The Bible says that without the shedding of blood is no remission. Uh, no, no sins can be forgiven without the shedding of blood. That's what it means to me. It means remission. Uh, the Bible said in Ephesians chapter number one, he said, we are not redeemed with corruptible things of silver and gold with the precious blood of Christ. That's what it means to be yes, Ephesians sir. one in whom we have redemption through his blood. What's that to us? I'll tell you what it is. It's redemption. The blood stands for redemption. Oh, we need the blood so bad this morning and let the world know there's still redemption through yes. Christ Jesus. We need the blood this morning. What's that to us? I who was lost would have been lost forever. That's what it means to me. Oh, but because the blood was shed, I can be redeemed. What's that to us? You say it's redemption. Yes. What's that to us? You say the innocent blood of Christ that was shed on Calvary's rugged hill, on Golgotha's mound. What's that to us? Not only is it redemption, but have you understand it's reconciliation. Yes, sir. What's that? Does? It's reconciliation. The Bible said in that garden, sin had come and sin separated. Man and God used to walk together, but now they've been separated. You know what separated God and man? Sin. Yes, sin sir. separated God from man. They were they were distanced. There was a great gulf fix. They could not uh, come together anymore because of the sin. The Bible said your sin has separated between you and your God. Yes. And I remind you this morning, we were separated from God because of our sin. Man was separated. Oh, the Bible said in Colossians chapter number one, that through the blood of his cross by him to reconcile all things to himself. Hallelujah. Oh, the blood came and we were reconciled. Yes, that's I said, right. Reconciled. Oh, that's what it means to me. A reconciliation. I was separated from God. The cross is fair and I couldn't get across. Also, oh, when he died on Calvary and the blood was shed, he reconciled man with God. Yes, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes. And reconciled by the precious blood of Jesus. That's what it means to me. Amen. Yes. That's what it means to us. Yes, amen. The Bible lets us know that Christ has become the daysman. 
the days man. Job talks about the days man who stood between. He was the, the New Testament calls him the, the mediator, amen, yes. of a better covenant. He yes, was the sir. one that took God's hand and took man's hand and reunited them. Can I tell you? Yes, on amen. Drug him down when he stretched out his hands. He was grabbing a hold of God's hand and grabbing a hold of mankind and yeah. putting them back together. Oh, yes, sir. That's what it means. Hallelujah. That's what it means to us. Yes. yes. It means reconciliation. It means Hallelujah. In the family of God. Yes, sir. It means redemption. What's that to us? It means redemption. What's that to us? It means reconciliation. What's that to us? You know, the Bible tells us this in Colossians chapter number 1, verse number 14, that through His blood, even the forgiveness of sins. I can tell you what that means to us. It means I'm forgiven. Hallelujah. It means I'm forgiven. It means the sin that I had committed in the past. When I got under the blood, they were forgiven. They were lost. Hallelujah. My sins have been forgiven. Hallelujah. Oh, my daughter wrote a song that simply said, He said, I'm forgiven. He said that I had forgiven all the yes. sins that I did. It's forgiveness. Yes. That's Amen. what it is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I came and I knelt at an old rugged cross, a 30 something years, excuse me, an old, at an old rugged altar at the foot of the cross. Spiritually, I gave my heart and life to Jesus Christ. Right. And the blood was applied. Yes, and sir. Forgiveness was mine. Hallelujah. All the sin that I had done, I've been forgiven. I said, I have been forgiven. Song said, You ask me where they where they are. I'll tell you, speaking of my sins, I'll tell you they're underneath the blood yeah. of the cross yeah. of Calvary. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. Move this darkness, this yes, sir. In the sea of God's yes. yes. Hallelujah. For me. Praise God. My sins are sins gone. Are yes. What's yes. Hallelujah. It's forgiveness. Yes. Yes. It to us. It's forgiveness. Hallelujah. It's redemption. It's reconciliation. Amen. It's forgiveness. Thank you, Jesus. You know, Thank you, Jesus. You know what it means is He doesn't hold them against us anymore. Yeah. Right. I like that. Forgiven. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You know, we have the mentality, well, I forgave Him. I ain't going to forget it, but I forgave Him. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how you know, aren't you glad God doesn't do that? Yes, right. I'm glad God didn't say, I'm going to forgive Him. I ain't going to forget it, but I'm going to forgive Him. No, no, no. No, he said they're forgiven. <laughs> they're yes. forgiven. I remember I was young in the Lord. I, I'm trying to serve God, but you know, just uh, you, you're young in the Lord, and I, I've gotten saved and trying to live for God, and I'm messing up. And man, every service it seemed like I'm having to come back and repent about some stupid stuff that I'm still doing. Uh -huh. You know, and I get in there and get right. And, and uh, but I started walking with the Lord and doing a little better. You know, God's helping me, and and uh, you know, being fewer and farther in between. And God's helping me as I walk. Well, one day, I don't remember how long it had been, but one day I got down that altar, and, and I just, uh, the devil just been beating me up on my past, and I got looking back at all those past things that I've done, and I, I, I said, Lord, forgive me about that. God, forgive me. I'm so sorry. I, I repented of it already. got saved. Yeah. I'm born again. But here I am. That past is just going over yeah. and over trying to beat me down with, with the past things. And I'm at that altar. And I was praying. I said, God, forgive me. And, oh, God, I'm sorry about that. And, oh, I'm telling you what. Just like the Spirit of God just, just stirred my heart and said, as I'm saying, God, oh, forgive me for that sin. And the Spirit of God just, just spoke to me and said, what sin? Yeah. What sin? Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. right. It's been forgiven. Yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. What's that to us? What's that to us, you say? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can I tell you, not only is it forgiveness, but right along with that, it's, <coughs> it's cleansing. Yes. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. What, what's that line, that, that, that song, song we just sang, the clean slate part? Oh, your slate is clean by greater love than yes. you can ever dream of. Oh, a cleansing. It was a cleansing. Aren't you glad? Hallelujah. He forgave you. And then that he cleansed yes. you. Yes, yes. Yeah. First John chapter 1, verse 7. The blood of Jesus Christ, his yeah. son, cleanseth us from all sin. Oh, oh right. he forgives us. And then he, he cleanses us and he washes us clean. Yes. Oh, Amen. the man tells us this in 1 John 1 and 9. He said, and if we confess, he is faithful and just. 
to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You know what? There are times in our life Lord, when we may allow things to come in and we may allow, we may give in to temptation, we may give in these areas and, and the sin comes in. How do you understand? We come to an old-fashioned altar and we confess and say, Lord, I'm sorry. Forgive me of that. How do you know? He comes by and He cleanses it again. Amen. Yes, amen. He comes by and He cleanses us from all unrighteousness. Oh, oh. That's what it means to me. When I got born again, and I was thinking about this today, wasn't perfect. Oh, I was a mess. And when I got saved, I was just a saved mess. You understand? Right. Trying to live for God, yeah. still messing up. And I, I was talking to God this morning and said, God, I'm sorry for what you got me. You got me. I've been a mess. Oh, but God, you've helped me, and I'm thankful. And I thought, it's, it's time to live for God. I would allow things to come in. I'd hit that altar, cry out, God, for forgiveness. Yes. And he forgive me. Then he cleansed. What's that to us? It's redemption. It's reconciliation. It's forgiveness. It's cleansing. You know, when I was in high school, I was a senior in high school, and uh, I got a job working at the, the high school after school. I, about, you know, after we get out of school and then all the buses leave, everybody take off. And about 3.30, I'd start work, and I'd work for a couple hours. I'd work, I don't know. I think I was working four hours a night. I'd work four hours there, and then I'd go to my next job and wash dishes until midnight or one in the morning. So I was working there at the school and and uh, as, as a help, a janitor help. And I got to where I was just helping the, the main janitor there, and, and he was teaching me different things. And pretty soon he gave me my own keys and said, man, here, you know, I, I get coming for work. He said, okay, you go take care of this room, and this room, this room, this room. And I was like, oh, man, so I get down there. And one of our one of our, our jobs, and this is probably antiquated, well, I'm almost positive that it is antiquated now, but uh, some of you younger ones may not even know what it is, but we have things called chalkboards. <laughs> <laughs> we call them blackboards or chalkboard, you know, and you, have, you wrote on them with chalk. <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, sometimes with old chalkboards, you'd write on them and the teacher would erase it, but, but I'd come in and you could still see it. Right, you, can see yeah. the whole, you can see everything still on there. I mean, you know, it was, it was lighter, but it was still there. I mean, you could still see it. And so, you know, our job was to come in and get our special cleaner out and get our rag, and we cleansed it. Yeah. <laughs> and we right. got done with that, but there was no trace of yesterday's lesson. Yeah. Oh, no, it was done. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hold on a second. Hallelujah. Making myself cry. Amen. Oh, I said, when we got done, there, there was there was no trace of right. yesterday's lesson. Yes. Come on, yes, man. Man. Yes. Oh, thank you, Lord, God. You know, when I come down to an old-fashioned altar, that gave my heart and life to Jesus Christ. He forgave me. And he cleansed me. Right. Yes. There's not even a trace. You can't even read lightly those things that used to be. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. They start telling about what it used to be. Yeah. And looking at it now, he said, you've got to be kidding. Mm -hmm. I remember I was in one church one time, and, and it was after service, and, you know, we, we preached, and we're standing there, and, and the pastor and I are kind of at the altar, and folks are mingling, and just about, you know, getting ready to leave, and visiting, and he looks over me, and he said, you know, he said, there ain't anybody in this room hadn't been in the state pen. Ah! <laughs> 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 But you know what? You wouldn't know, huh? Oh, and been cleansed. You couldn't yes. see state pit still written in light ink on their forehead. Yes. No, 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 no. It had been cleansed. Yes. It had been cleansed. Oh, they've been brand. Oh, that's what it means to us. I used to be but not anymore. Oh, that's why aren't you glad the alcoholic doesn't have to stand and say, I'm an alcoholic with a changed attitude and I'm still an alcoholic, but no, 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 no. He can no, stand sir. and say, I used to be yes. but not anymore. Yes. Hallelujah. Reconciliation means forgiveness, means cleansing. That's what it means to us. What's that to us, you say? What's that to us? I'll tell you what it is. I'll tell you what it is, boys. 
I'll tell you what it is. You want to know what that is to us? I'll tell you what it is to us. It's life. Come on, brother. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. That blood's yes, life. Sir. You see, the Bible lets us know we were, we were dead in our trespasses and yes. sins. Yes. We were dead in our trespasses. The soul that sinneth, it yes. shall die. The Bible said we'd all sin and come short yes, of the sir. glory of God. We incurred the wrath of death. And John chapter 3 said that even right now the wrath of God abideth upon us that are not saved. And we were, we were dead in those trespasses and sins. But the good news is the blood of Jesus Christ was shed on Calvary's rugged mound that you and I would not have to die and go to hell. Oh, but you and I can live. Not yes. just have life now, but have life everlasting. Yes, oh, amen. What that blood is. It's life. It's life. It's yes, life. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's life. The Bible tells us, I you understand this thing is not about religion. Right. If all you've got is religion, you've missed it, son. Yeah. Oh, friend, if all you have is religion, you've missed it, friend. Can I tell you, it's not about religion, it's about life. I said it's about life. What's that to us? It's about life. That's what it is to us. The Bible said in Leviticus chapter number 14, verse number 17, it says the life of the flesh is in the blood. Right. Hallelujah. The life of the flesh is in the blood. Hallelujah. You take the blood out of this body, there is no life. You take the blood out of Christianity, there is no life. But the good news is, what's that to us? I'll tell you what it is. It's life. Jesus said, I am come that you might have life. Yes. yes. Have Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Knelt to that altar, gave my heart and life to Jesus Christ. Lost and undone on my way to a devil's hell. Oh, hallelujah. The pastor, when I got down there, I cried and squalled, bawled and slobbered and snotted. I didn't turn over a new leaf. I didn't get religion. I didn't join the church. No, no, no. I got born again. Yes, I, amen. I'm telling you, life had come, man. Yes. I got up. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, sky looked bluer, grass looked yes. I was living. Oh, I was living. Oh, the old song said, I just started living. I just, oh, that morning I got up from that altar. I was 18 years of age, but I just started living. Yes. I said, I just started living. Can I tell you that blood means life? Yes, it means amen. Life. It means life. Yes. What's that to us? It's life. That's what it is to us. It's life. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. What's that to us, you say? It's redemption. It's reconciliation, it's forgiveness, it's cleansing, it's life. Right. You know, I don't know what number this is, it don't matter, but whatever. Another thing that is, everybody has just another thing. Number number three for the third time. Um, <laughs> not only is it cleansing in life, but how many know it's healing? Yes, man. How many know we still believe that around here? Yeah. Right. Yeah. We wouldn't have called you all to the front at the beginning of the service. Yes, sir. And we have got to touch your body. No, no, no. Uh, but we believe that around here. Yes. It's not something that Brother Jordan learned in Bible college. Well, you know, you got to pray for the sake. Just my man, man, man. No, no. We don't do that just because we're going through the motions. We do that because we believe he is a. Yes, amen. What's that to us? I'll tell you what that is. We believe that the, blood, the Bible says that by his stripes we are healed. Yes. By his, say, by his stripes we were healed. We believe that he. We believe with that blood and in the atonement, there is a healing for our bodies. No, I can't tell you everything there is to know about healing. Yes, we pray for folks that haven't got healed, but we also pray for folks that have got healed. Yes, amen. I can tell you this, what's that to us? It's a healing. It's a healing. It's a healing. There's healing yes, in the blood. Yes, There's healing in the blood. Hallelujah. 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 I just come to shout it tonight oh, from the rooftop. What's that to us? I'll tell you what it is. It's healing. Hallelujah. It's a healing. We can believe God. I yes. said we can believe God. Yes, amen. I was reminded I had forgotten about this until the other day when my boy testified about this. And, and uh, I'm going to steal that. That's okay, son. Hopefully you weren't going to testify about it again. If you were, I have to find another one. <laughs> oh, no, he's going to mute my mic. <laughs> oh, yeah. Talking about healing in the blood. Yes. We were in revival years ago. It was a tent revival. And uh, 
Uh, one night, uh, a couple came to us and said, hey, would you, if, if my aunt, she doesn't go to church here, but if we brought her tomorrow night, would you pray for her? She has a brain tumor the size of a plum. And they've got to do surgery. Would you pray for her? I said, yeah. You bring, we'll pray for her. So then that next night, they brought her. Man, we were having a time. We had a move of God. I, you know, have you heard you heard him talk about his holy rollers? Yes. You know, well, I, I heard that, but and I heard the story, but I had never seen it until that revival. There were some young kids in that revival. I believe it was that night too. Um, uh, young kids, and I mean, they weren't they weren't you know they, these these are young. I mean, they were young, maybe 12, 13 years of age, young girls and. Going, guys, I don't remember. Anyway, young kids got filled with the Holy Ghost. And you know what? Got the roll in that sawdust. And it was no game. I mean, power of God touching their life. Like, yes. whoa, whoa. I mean, we're having a revival. It was wonderful. Right. Well, at the end of that service, uh, they, they brought that aunt up, said, Would you pray for, you know, this, this, this sister? And said, Yeah, we just, you know, we laid hands on her, just prayed for her, believed in the Lord, you know, according to his word. And we prayed for her, and, and we just went on. And a couple months later, or maybe a month later, whatever it was, sometime later, of course, we're not even in the state anymore. And, and we had gone and uh, we, we'd gotten a letter back home. And so a uh, person that got our mail got it and said, I think you need to hear this letter. She began to read that letter. It was from that lady. She said, I, I don't know if you remember me, but I'm uh, so and so. And we were in your revival and we brought our aunt uh, in to be prayed for. She had the brain tumor. She said, well, we, she went in to have surgery on that brain tumor. And uh, she went in and they shaved her head and they were going to do one more, whatever kind of scan they do to get the exact, you know, place and measurement and everything so they could mark it and everything, right, you know, on, on the head that's already been shaved and ready to go. And uh, so they shaved the head, they took her in for the scan, they brought her back out and said, you won't believe this, but there is no tumor. Hallelujah. There is no Hallelujah. tumor. Hallelujah. Yes. He's still here. I just come to remind you. What's that to us? I'll tell you what yes. it is. It's a yes. Hallelujah. What's that to us? What's that to us? You say it's tradition. It's reconciliation. It's forgiveness. It's cleansing. It's life. It's healing. Last thing is this. How many know this morning what that blood is to us? It's victory. Oh, it's victory. If only Judas would have known, boys, you think you're going to win this one, but i got news for you. He's going to be victorious. Hallelujah. He's going to be victorious. And that blood that he's going to shed on Calvary's rugged cross is going to make me victorious. Hallelujah. And I'm going to have the victory. Why? Because of the blood. Can I tell you this morning we can have victory not because of who we are, not because we go to Brother Jordan's church, not because Brother Man's our evangelist, not because we go to Harvest Time. No, can I tell you we can have victory this morning because of one thing, the blood. Yes. The blood. Uh, Hallelujah. The Bible said in Revelation, the Bible said they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. Yes. There's still victory. I Hallelujah. say there's still victory in the blood. Amen. There's victory in the blood. We believe that around here. There's victory. And so the good news is this morning, oh, the blood was shed. What's that to us? I'll tell you. It's victory. It's yes. victory. You no need to wait till the last night of revival. Let's go ahead and have victory this morning. Yes, oh, yes. Let's go ahead and get in that spirit. That's what it is for us. Oh, oh, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What's that to us, you say? Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. 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 I tripped myself here. Cain. He said to the Jews, Jews. What's that to us? What's that to us? And society today says the, says, the, says, says the same thing to you and I. What's that to us? Doesn't mean anything to them. Right. Oh, but can I tell you, it means everything to me. Yes, oh, man. It means everything to me. It is my bad tonight that I hold high. And I'm thankful this morning for the blood. What's that to us? It's our redemption. It's our reconciliation. It's our forgiveness. It's our cleansing. It's our healing. Yes, it's our man. life. It's our victory. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 God, I worship and adore you. Magnify your great name. What's that to us? It's the blood. Glory, 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 glory. It's the blood. And I thought this morning is the 4th of July. 
And we oftentimes maybe think about and look back and remember some of those memorable things in our history. And I guess to me, Surabachi's Mound is just etched in my mind. It's on, Mount, on Iwo Jima, they say. And that battle took that island of Iwo Jima. Right. And you remember the story from history. Right. On Surabachi's Mound, the fighting was horrendous. Right. But they finally raised that flag. Yes, sir. Yes. And you've seen the picture of the Marines. As there's four or five of them, and they're raising that flag. It's etched in our mind. That flag said, this belongs yes. to the U.S. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. So they raised that flag and they said, oh, we now own this thing, boys. We, 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 uh, we are the ones in control of this thing now, boys. And it cost men their lives. Yeah. Well, this morning as we think back, what's that to us? I'm reminded about Golgotha's Mount. And an old rugged cross. And I'm reminded of the Savior who was suspended between heaven and earth. And his blood was shed for my pardon, for your pardon. Oh, what's that to us? You say it's redemption, it's reconciliation, it's life. You know what that means? Oh, that means that blood that was shed that now you and I, amen, we belong to him. I said we belong to him. Oh, that flag waves high over my life. It says that he rules here. He reigns in here. He lives here. He owns this yes. thing. Hallelujah. He bought it with his precious blood. And he opens it. Father, we love him this morning. Thank you, brother, mercy and goodness. Thank you, God, for all that the blood is to us this morning. God, stir our hearts by way of remembrance of all the great things you've done for us because of Calvary. Lord, you redeemed us. You reconciled us. You forgave us. You cleansed us. Lord, you brought us life. You've healed us. You've given us victory. God, you've been so us. Yes. Lord, we're thankful this yes. morning for the blood. God, stir our hearts thank you, Jesus. around these altars one more time about the blood. God, we'll thank you for it in Jesus' name. Heads bowed this morning. Eyes closed between you and the Master. Can I tell you this morning, everything you need is in the blood. Yeah. Everything you need is in the blood. Hallelujah. 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 But if you're here this morning, heads about eyes closed between you and the Lord, you're not right with God this morning. Can I tell you, there's, there's, there's redemption in the blood. I need to make some things right. I need to get right with God. Would there be one of you slip your hand quickly up and back down between you and the master? I wouldn't want to miss somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, I need cleansing this morning. Just slip that hand up and back down between you and the master. Hallelujah. Maybe you said, preacher, there's dairy by life. I need victory this morning. I want victory. You slip your hand up, up and back down between you and the master. Just hand for this morning. There's victory in the blood. Hallelujah. You said, preacher, it seems like this last year the life has been zapped out of me. And I need my life restored. There's life in the blood. Slip your hand up between you and the master. Want that life to be restored. <laughs> and you need healing in your body. Lift your hands, preach. You need healing. I need the healing that comes from the blood. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Come on. They're going to play and sing. And as they do, we're going to open these altars. Invite those of you that raised your hand, those of you that will. Let's come. Let's gather around these altars. Find us a place to pray. Oh, let's believe God that touches this morning. What you need this morning is in the blood. That's what that is to us. It's everything. Hallelujah.